when I was their age, I was a lot like them. I didn't have a dad in the house. And I was angry about it, even though I didn't necessarily realize it at the time. I made bad choices. I got high without always thinking about the harm that it could do. I didn't always take school as seriously as I should have. I made excuses. Sometimes I sold myself short. And I remember when I was saying this, Christian, you, you may remember this. Uh, uh, after I was finished, the guy sitting next to me said, uh, are you talking about you? <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> and the point was I could see myself in these young men. And the only difference is that I grew up in an environment that was a little bit more forgiving. So when I made a mistake, the consequences were not as severe. I had people who encouraged me, not just my mom and grandparents, but wonderful teachers and community leaders. And they'd push me to work hard and study hard and make the most of myself. And if I didn't listen, they said it again. And if I didn't listen, they said it a third time. And they would give me second chances and third chances. They never gave up on me. And so I didn't give up on myself. I told these young men my story then, and I repeat it now because I firmly believe that every child deserves the same chances that I have. And that's why we're here today, to do what we can in this year of action to give more young Americans the support they need to make good choices and to be resilient and to overcome obstacles and achieve their dreams.